along and welcome to a brand new series uh here on virtual farmer we are doing a community survival uh series we are on american fools and uh, i'm looking forward to this uh this is gonna be cracking uh so the idea of the series is gonna be for uh the community to work together take a uh take our farm from absolutely nothing to owning the entire map uh we are going to start with uh zero pounds as a result no loans no leased equipment we have to buy all our equipment uh and um, we can't borrow money we do we can lo lease equipment as part of contract because we're gonna have to do that straight off the bat um but this is gonna be really fun how many weeks is this gonna take us uh we will find out uh let's say hello to everybody who is currently coming in on uh, the chat uh java mugged welcome along levi smith welcome along uh who else we got coming in here hm agri welcome along uh kirisar 007 welcome along mark b 747 welcome along uh a space 2024 welcome along uh scraggy 1971 welcome along ad 1968 welcome along hope you're all doing well and uh yeah uh if you want to join in exclamation mark join in in the chat uh you do need to be either a twitch subscriber a youtube channel member a patron or or have reached level eight on the discord um i should say in regards to uh to the the levels um i've added a new level into the patron uh we now have um Oh, I can't remember what the new level is, but there's a new level in the patron. That level will have a new perk uh, from next week. Uh, I'm also going to be adding a new level into uh, YouTube channel memberships. Um, and yeah, I'm going to be trying to do uh, early access to my videos. So uh, yeah, the new perk is going to be that. Um, and uh, that level and above uh is gonna have early access to the videos hopefully 24 hours in advance um and i will try and uh, keep it up as much as possible but basically as soon as videos are uploaded uh they will be early access for uh for those levels so um yeah i think it's gonna be really cool so go check out the patreon and uh the youtube channel membership if you haven't already uh hey Waylon Timlick, welcome along hope you're doing well um as always this month we are sponsored by hello fresh exclamation mark hello fresh in the chat uh get 60 percent off your first month and 20 percent uh, sorry 60 percent off your first box and 20 percent of the rest uh, uh the following uh two months uh of orders uh go check that out use pog uk fresh 5987 at the checkout uh to get that offer and with that let's crack on so we're on the map we've got uh tim pod and jesse's i think i saw culture come in here as well uh, and we're gonna immediately have to take a contract yeah uh we need to take a contract and oh oops the most highly priced contract straight off it that's going to make us the most money is this field 12 and field six uh and it is harvesting parsnips and carrots but with four of us on the server we might be able to get this so we're going to borrow the items for field 12 we're going to borrow the items for field six uh and we're going to attack field 12 so let's head up to the shop uh actually we should be able to tab in stuff whoa and chaos chaos immediately starts what the heck is going on here i might have to reset this yeah let's reset this vehicle now that we got space here that is mad where are we we are oh down here that's not that one uh we've got everybody there we go uh no that's the other one where's the one that i need to there it is uh reset it okay. 
Right, I don't know where that's... So let's reset that to that end. Let's see if we can get... So we'll start with field 12, everybody. Hey, Mason, welcome along. I know we don't have anything uh, on here. I'm going to have to reset these trailers as well, aren't I? Or this trailer at the very least. All right, let's reset that trailer. So here. Reset that. Yeah. There we go. Right. Now, I don't mind karting if somebody else wants to drive the other harvester or we'll just start with two carting tractors and one harvester for now there we go connect that up hey farming 44 welcome along Dev Dev Thrills, welcome along. Where's the Patreon? Exclamation mark Patreon uh, for information on that. Oh, did I say how much I love these trailers? There we go. Right, let's uncover. And uncover i think my trailers are slightly smaller than the other one i didn't see which way everybody went uh okay field 12 all uh, right turn off traffic maybe are we traffic's not too bad is it I think it's more that, oh my lord, my connection's playing up today. What's the code to the server? Um, it's all on the Discord, Farming44. Can't you, you should be able to, hang on. Uh, I don't think I can make you join the farm. be able to jesse oh i need to make culture a farm manager maybe try leaving and rejoining the server uh, on the discord farming 44 in the multiplayer announcements. With two harvesters, hopefully we can knock this out quicker. But we'll uh, we'll see how we go. One tractor, I'm gonna start bringing the second harvester. Okay. Onward and upward. Uh, so yes, this server will run 24-7. Uh, people are free to come on here and uh, do a uh, uh, do a contract or or do one of the jobs. There is a board in the. We're doing twelve, Tim, not not six. 
first. Wrong way! We'll do the bigger field first. So uh, this is American Bulls. This is by Lancey Boy. It's a map I have not played yet, but I really wanted to. Uh, Farming 44, you need to be a Twitch subscriber, a YouTube channel member, a patron, or have reached level eight on the Discord. subscribing for your 31st month you are awesome yeah those other trailers are definitely bigger This is going to be one of those really... Yeah, we got no money to use a hide worker at the moment. Only quad DLC server, yes. Um, we're running premium expansion, platinum expansion, uh, oxbow pack, um, Vermeer pack, Kubota pack. Go. 
Pubs are known to go ill and horse aggravation. Yeah, that's the other ones. I couldn't remember them. Oh, my lord. Trying to keep this straight, but the, uh, the lag just keeps causing issues. Make it easy. So it's James. Is this contract? Yes, it is a uh, contract. Uh, cat cracker. Sounds like a good idea, Kochi. Grab a grab another contract. Hopefully I can navigate around these trees. Yeah, there we go. Got it, chat. Yeah, I, I wanted to mix things up a little bit, Catcracker. Hey, it's a Billy thing. Welcome along. Joining the server. Crofty, thank you for subscribing for your third month. You are awesome. All right, and that trailer is full. Oh, no. Two car over. This is going to be an interesting turn at the end here. There we go. Shane, welcome along. next bit it's going to be a bit tighter with these trees <laughs> Come on. 
Come on, go into reverse tractor. Thank you. No, reverse. I'd go into the, the field a little bit. Dim. We can, uh, we don't need to worry about missing a little bit. I am so looking forward to getting a uh, new internet connection. Because this is ridiculous. Trying to be careful around the edge of a field. Uh, having this much lag is just. Trades are really annoying. I'm stuck on the tree.
There we go. There we are. Well, that track, we're on. don't know if these have collisions. Is this gonna... No, not quite. Okay, reverse it up. Okay, they do have collisions. Restrictive round here. I can't see into the trees. Hey, Joe DK, welcome along. Won't have much left to uh, to fill this trailer up. We're three. We're up to just three more percent. No, first. There we go, 100%. Right, where are we going? Build 12. We buy anything. Where is we buy anything? It's got to be... Not showing on the map. Ah. Pool's grey? No. Ah, we buy anything. That's where it is. Tag it. Let's go find it. Uh, just jump on quickly it's Mr. Family. Hi Axion and th thank you Axion for becoming a um a patron. I saw that. Thank you very much. You're awesome. Wait. Oh my lord. know what's up with my internet connection today it has just been awful all day my pleasure That's awesome. Right, can I? I think I can get in here. Can I get around the back here? Yes. Yep. Yeah, I think we can. I believe we've done 15% of the uh, contract already. And 
it'll be interesting to see how far along the contract this takes us. It didn't tell me. Or did that go towards... No. 20% we are. That's not a bad start. So I think the trick here is going to be very much picking up stuff from the shop when we can uh, that's on offer. Uh, we have got some cheaper, larger tractors on here. There's a couple of Steigers and some Alice Chalmers and, uh, and the white tractor I've got on here as a mod. I went for stuff that's more classic American stuff. Um, let's see. Yeah, nothing in the shop at the moment. But yeah, the idea very much is to buy up the whole map. But it's going to take us a few contracts to even get our first piece of land. And that's why I've actually gone for two fairly big contracts straight out of the gate. Because we need to get... We can't do any fertilizing contracts or, or seeding contracts at the moment because we have no money. So we can't buy the fertilizer or the seed. We've got to do the, uh, we've got to do the, uh, contracts which will gain us money first. And that, the easiest and the best ones for that are the, uh, harvesting contracts. I would get a PC from my grandma and if I get a new case, new GPU, fantastic. How did you guys become a... I'm not sure what that means, Pinbaker. Oh, how'd you come poor? We started poor. Brokies. Got you. Just another... Yeah, I got you. Uh, yeah, we're... Um, we're poor because we started poor. We started with nothing. <laughs> That's all right. It just confused me. That was all. Whoa. server again yet
miles. Welcome along. I'm gonna end up in a tree. Oh, didn't actually end up in the tree. Wow. Oh, I am gonna end up in the harvester now, though. Oh, jeez. Hang on, I'll reposition. Why is it that that always kicks in when I'm trying to turn? And I'm trying to do something a little bit careful. Bubba Fox! Thank you for uh, renewing your membership. You are awesome. And also, that is now coming up in my chat in... Uh uh in restream so i won't miss it so uh dj won't come in here again and tell me off for not noticing his membership 15 months farmer fox that's awesome What's that, you swaths? But I don't see the swath of pack. Uh, yeah, the swath of pack is there. Hello, American Farmers Gaming. Welcome along. We've got it, chat. What's the best way to contact me? I'm working on something. Uh, Discord. Discord is the one that I respond to more than anything else. Yeah, hit me up on Discord, definitely. Turn my engine off. Why? Oops. Thank you, Shane. Welcome along. What? No, not quite. There we are. And we have to go up here. Spin around here.
So we're about the mower type vehicle that makes swath. Oh, the swath pack was not a requirement. So uh, I might have to get the swath pack onto the server then. Uh, yeah, this map does support swaths. You're right. go actually managed to get around that corner wow to Lancy boy these uh the odd shaped fields here are really amazing this time. We're going to last half an hour after me putting a plow in a chainsaw. <laughs> Culture's going to even up our field. percent complete that's good news fishes and draws hello uh hotaru, hotaru welcome along hotaru this is my favorite bar it's like a smaller big m one of the headers does hay without tedding oh, wow Right, we're 
89% full. Boom. Well, we might make it once around the field this time. One of the lifting arms snapped off the three-point tiller on my Kubota, so it's Papa welding it for you. Nice. Oh, wow. We've made it more than a full way around this field. Oh, it's the tiniest bit. Just a little bit at the front, and we are full. Those uh, tillers by the tractor without a uh, yeah. I am driving a green tractor today because this is the one I got given for this contract. So I'm carting. And, uh, and we've got a vegetable contract on. To get us started on here, we have absolutely no money whatsoever. Uh, we need to, uh, to get some contract work done. Uh, these are going to um, where I'm heading, to sell everything. Or we buy everything, which is where I'm headed. Yeah, we buy anything. Round the back here, Jesse. Sorry, I missed that. Bird John Deere to Ford. Hey, Dale, welcome along. 
You got a present the other day. Ooh. There we go. Well, we got a little bit of money in the bank now. A vintage 90s Kubota banner. Nice. Stay for me now. No cards left in, so you're safe. <laughs> All three contract slots are full. Blood Wolf and L, thank you for subscribing for your fifth month. You are awesome. The orange turned red a bit more and the blue letters black. Oh, so it's got a, a little bit of age to it. Then, uh, Hotaru. Ooh. Yes, but I love it. Well, a little bit of age. You know, never did anything wrong. Back to Tim. 40% complete. Wow. Now I wake up to a Kubota surrounding me. Happy on now. Welcome along. Side as I go round there. Not bad, not bad at all. My spring map has multi proof option. I'm playing so hard on that map right now. That is a fantastic map. a massive field with small equipment uh except that we do have two harvesters running on here so we are running two of these vegetable harvesters get it done in half the time and we're already uh, is it this field with 40 percent i know so the harvest is 40 percent done this one is 37 percent done Yeah. 
I know those old farming commercials. Welcome along. I'm having the 1970s, 80s Kubota as commercial and the Ozeki slogan in your head. I don't know those particular ones. Thank you, Rich. Oh, no, no, it's not going to change much because... Um, yeah, I am going to have to come on the server every day just to check what's in the shop. But I do want, before we start buying our own equipment, I do want to get some land. And that is going to be quite a job to get a load of land on here. We need to get a farmyard before we get any equipment. I think if we can get a farmyard and start getting some animals getting us money in on a regular basis... We can then look at, uh, at getting equipment and, and stuff then. Ooh, uh. Equipment clash. Type of Kubota was on the commercials as well. Nice. So he goes, nice day, nice Isaac. Oh wow. It kinda rhymes. Oh that's no, trailer's fault. There's a small plot near the top of the map. I should be around 15k and it's like three six greenhouses on it. Oh that might be a good start then, Black Mirror. Yeah, start off with greenhouses and get money flowing in with those. And 15k we'll actually uh, get to with the uh, with these contracts. So, Ian, evening, Liam. Welcome along. Oh, it's a pity we don't have enough money for the uh, telehandler. There's a telehandler in the shop at the moment, and that would be perfect if we're going to start with greenhouses. Forty-nine, thirteen. Welcome along. We'll not be able to make it to Farmcon. I think that's all right, gaming FFC. And welcome along. What are we harvesting? We're har harvesting parsnips at the moment. This is a contract. We started with zero. Uh, we are currently trying to get a piece of land. In our first piece of land, but we do need to get a uh, a couple of contracts done first to do that. Hence the reason why we're attacking field 12.
Oh no, Papa and a bro bunny with eggs. What? As a bunny and throw eggs. Okay, got you. I get ya. It's Easter coming up. Well, our rear trailer is half full now. Yeah, sure. Later, uh, game oh. I think you got me right. Ah, uh, it's yeah. It is what it is. You have broccoli. Uh, we have broccoli in the UK. Uh, we don't have broccoli on this map. But yeah, we love broccoli over here. My kids love broccoli, which is fantastic. Really good for you. I do you know what I love. And you don't see many people eat it over here. Raw broccoli. Raw broccoli is delicious. I love raw broccoli and raw cauliflower. Three strikes or three claims. There's a difference between strikes and claims. Gaming FFC. I'd be amazed if you have three strikes. Your channel would be gone. Kids love lollipops here. I mean, in the past, in the past uh, two months, I've had nearly 20 claims. I, at one point, I had every, uh, every video, uh, every stream had a claim on it, and some of them had more than one. Almost all of them have been released now. I was I was literally coming off a uh, I literally coming off a stream, and the stream was being claimed as soon as I finished. Uh, there is a uh, it, it's a it's a copyright conglomerate claiming thing uh, on YouTube called Latin Perf or uh, Latin Audio. Um, and it claims stuff that people haven't even asked to be claimed. So, uh, basically, they're claiming stuff on behalf of Streambeats that Streambeats has asked them, uh, hasn't even asked them to claim. And, uh, yeah, it's a whole legal issue. And why YouTube haven't kicked them off for it, I don't know. There must be some serious heavyweights behind them doing it. Um, this is multiplayer Salmon, yes. Hey, Five Gen Farms, welcome along. I have, I have put in for each claim. Most of them have been released at this point. The ones that are gonna be more of a pain in the butt are the. Uh, 60 odd claims I have for historically um, uh, Pretzel Rocks trucks. And I need to go through and I need to, to, to challenge all of those. And yeah, those, those are a pain. Because those are tracks that were included under the Pretzel Rocks uh, license that i think that those artists have now come off pretzel rocks and now all of my old streams they're claiming the lot of them uh i am going to be uh, i'm going to be going through all of those at some point and sorting that out uh but it's why i stopped using pretzel rocks because i had a couple of those where i uh, where I went and uh, challenged them and they didn't release it. No, it's right, I get you literally have 18 plus streamers that miners can put in, honestly, pay guy, and then people go after you like 
I, it, it's, it's one of those things about using music on YouTube. You have to be you have to be careful. I I am very much of the opinion that I will not use a piece of music on YouTube that I do not have a license for. And I have a license I have a license for every piece of music I use. For that reason. I I very much uh, I very much will not use a piece of music uh, with that without knowing I have a license for it uh, and, and can prove I have a license for it. Well, that's... But then Gaming FFC, you can turn around and, ch and challenge the claim because it's a false claim and it should get released. It might not get released immediately, but it should get released. Yeah, having a license doesn't automatically mean you get no claims at all. I wish that was the case. Oh man, I wish that was the case. That would save me a lot of time. But it's why I complain at... Uh, it's why I would, I've been complaining at YouTube. Because this is literally music that I know the creator has said. Broad spectrum license. You can use it on your streams. Stream Beats exists for streamers to use it. And yet, there's somebody out there claiming somebody else's music. And I know I know that Harris Heller and Stream Beats are legally going after these people. But it's been a good two years that they've been doing this. And this is this is what I do not get. If these people have been putting in false claim after false claim after false claim like this. And the owners of the copyright music have turned around and going, these guys are falsely claiming my music. Why has YouTube not kicked them off being able to make claims? Why are they claiming other people's music as their copyright? and YouTube isn't kicking them off. That's what I want to know. Because these people do not own the copyright to this. They absolutely do not own the copyright to the music they're claiming. Well, they're the ones who control the copyright tool. It's their tool that's being abused. And they say they kick people off who abuse it. And in their very responses to me, they say they kick people off who abuse it. And yet, these people have demonstratedly been doing it for two years. All I can say is I bet Audio Perf or, or whatever is owned, is, is run by one of the major record labels or, <coughs> you know, something like that. I bet. But uh, yeah, it's actually going back to that. Um, I am. Uh, I have introduced a new tier to the Patreon. I uh, will be introducing a new tier to the YouTube channel members. Uh, this new tier will give you early access. This new tier and above will give you early access to my videos going forwards. Um, I'm looking to get videos. Uh, uploaded at least a day before they go live on the channel and uh yeah you'll you'll be able to um you'll be able to watch my stuff early so that will so that means uh ex executive producers and i think it's co-producers it's the top two levels plus the new one
because i've got i've got to the point where i i need to introduce something for you guys um yeah so uh new the new uh level is supervising producer supervising producer co-producer and executive producers on patreon will get early access to videos uh from the beginning of next month um and the same it'll be the it'll be top three member levels on youtube will also get early access once i've uh, redone those There we go. Any weekend plans? Yes, Ghostbusters. I am off to see Frozen Empire on Sunday. I am so excited about it. It is going to be absolutely awesome. I'm a huge Ghostbusters fan, as you guys know. <laughs> and uh, I cannot wait. It's going to be awesome. Yeah, but another person called me Edna without that. Oh dear. Oh, I think that trailer's full. Turn around. Can't wait. It's my chill. I uh, what um Ghostbusters is or this is uh yeah. I did see its Rotten Tomato score was horrendous today.
We have booked four day cottage holiday in Northumberland. Nice gaming FFC. Called one of my family members the other day at 1am just to say fish and hung up again. <laughs> oh, I was expecting it. Yeah, not what I was expecting that. I am nowhere near that all go. You such things all the time. <laughs> IQ97 OBS, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the VFN. Let's get that patch at the end there. Keep going, keep going. Or is there not a patch there for you? No, he's getting it. Yeah, there we go. What am I time I normally go to sleep to? I, these days, I try to be in bed before midnight. I like to get seven hours sleep at the moment. It does me good to get seven hours sleep. My stream is like, yeah, I figured as much. I'm considering bringing back the Discord channel, although people tended not to, um, to end up using that and tended to prefer the stream. But maybe we'll bring back the Discord channel. Sometimes I don't know how far the stream is delayed. I'm judging by that, it's a good 30 seconds. Oh, it's my childhood. Oh, I can't settle before midnight. Oh, I'm, I'm like that before 11. We go. Start cutting across the field soon. Doing up downs. watch TV and say I'm really tired. I, know, I normally end up doing a load of stuff on my computer. Still not 90% full, wow.
In January, Papa went berserk on you. Why? What did you do? Seven, twenty-eight, and ninety-nine, and we are away. Yeah, there we go. Harvesting sunflowers on Attingham. Nice. Did I watch the new Avatar on Netflix? I didn't. Uh, shame. My my children actually insisted we watch the old the uh, the old movie. I did watch X Men ninety seven. X Men ninety seven is fantastic. I watched that yesterday morning. Absolutely brilliant. Big fan of the, the original uh, X-Men. No problem, Tim. We might cancel the second contract. Uh, but we need we needed two harvesters to, to get this one knocked out. Welcome along. I have new avatar on 4K Blu-ray. Looks amazing. I'm waiting for... So, uh, Star Trek Discovery's back next month. For its final season. I'm looking forward to that. And um, got Doctor Who back in uh, in May. Davis last season just getting to discover. Discovery has definitely improved. I'm I was not a massive fan of Discovery's first season. Uh, Discovery's second season is an improvement. Discovery's third season is better again. Its fourth season is better. So I'm expecting good things from season five because Discovery's just got better and better the longer it's gone on, which is great. So, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to Discovery's, uh, Discovery's fifth, fifth and final season. Little van putting a CD of loudness in the... Oh, God. Oh, I'm not surprised he went a little bit mad at you. I'm trying to think. I, I'm not sure we have... Because I'm not sure we're getting Strange New Worlds this year. Uh, we might get... We might get lower decks this year, but I'm not sure... Is Discovery our only Star Trek this year? It's it's very possible our only Star Trek series we'll get this year is Discovery. And maybe the long trek, because the long trek wrapped uh filming. Oh man, Notaru. 
Yeah, I know. And Strangely Worlds, I know we're not going to get this year because Strangely Worlds has been delayed, was delayed by the strikes. So that isn't happening this year. Lower decks, I don't think the strike affected animation so much. So lower decks, we might get season five, season four of lower decks this year. Our lower decks is one of the best track series ever created. And its crossover with Strange New Worlds was just awesome. Single with God Fighter. Oh, jeez. How far through this contract are we? 60%. Is we're actually going to go quite a way to completing the contract on field six as well. I do crazy things when I get bored. complete we are nearly two-thirds of the way through guys and uh we're about two-thirds of the way through the stream fantastic If I fancy streaming at any point during the day, I might just hop on the server and uh, and do some work and and do some stuff on here. It's it's that kind of it's it's that kind of server setup. So may do more on here. Will you be doing sugarcane on this farm? I don't know. There is plenty of sugarcane around. Uh... I don't know. We might end up with a sugarcane contract, although I don't know if sugarcane comes up on contracts. And an eyeliner pencil, uh, black star underneath my bangs, and well, I completely forgot it and went to drive with my Kubota and I thought, hmm, people are looking at my weird, so I forgot to wash it off. Oh, jeez. Right, it's getting quite thin in places now on this field. I do mess the better contracts mod. I do miss knowing how many thousand litres I have to uh, still deliver.
I know what we need to do. Once we've delivered everything we need to deliver for this field, we should tip the rest of the parsnips into a cell point that isn't the delivery cell point for field six. Is Reva feeling? Yeah, Reva was streaming last night, in fact. Streamer. Yeah, no, he was streaming last night. He was on his uh, multiplayer server. I'll top this off. Move oh, to the back one. Order Ford yet? Not yet. I don't think there's even... Nope, there's nothing in the shop. What brand is the shop on this map? I don't know, actually. I uh, I didn't check that. Possibly, John Deere. I have added uh, some board stuff into here. And uh, some Alice Chalmers. And I think we're going to end up with either a white or an Alice Chalmers track to start with. Because they're not expensive.
Rather than a clog's name, uh, Crocs. Oh man, Crocs. They are not universally loved in the UK. I will tell you that. <laughs> Although my children seem to love them. Have I a favorite pair of, sh pair of shoes? Yes, I like um, Converse. Although I am disappointed with my current pair of Converse. They, uh, I, I have worn them sparingly to try and make them last longer and they've lasted just as long as they would if I was wearing them every day. It's really annoying. I bought them from for FarmCon last year and uh yeah they've just uh, they just haven't lasted like i'd hoped they would being more careful with them this year where them even you do oh really wow Sketches. I, I for durability I like I love cats. I I will buy cat boots and cat shoes and they last. They do actually last. Um but style wise I've I've loved Converse for years, but just don't hold up. Day top t-shirt with shorts and crocs. Oh, I have such an image now, uh, Hotaru. Such an image. <laughs> oh, we get to go and use the other road this time. Eight ninety-nine and bull. usually wear black i usually i actually usually wear blue oh. there we go road doc martin's got the same really poor quality for what they cost yeah Really annoying. And you can buy a pair of uh, Converse knockoff type things from, from Tesco's for a tenner, and they'll last as long as the 60 quid ones from, from Converse themselves. See, I've been tempted by Sketches, Steam fan. I just, you know, a nice light uh, summer shoe. Ah, accident. Someone said turn the traffic off at the start of the stream. I should have. That is the car. My favorite aspect is a long sleeve shirt that goes around the neck uh, with the skirt and pants here with sloths or crocs. Yeah, I like a good hoodie, uh, like a pair of jeans and uh, a, a pair of thin soles or trainers or something like that. That is that is what you'll find me wearing most days. Got you having a chance, uh, had a time change yet, couldn't figure out why I called to dinner in the middle of the stream. Uh, yeah, uh, clocks go back 
No, spring four the clocks go forwards. Easter weekend, I want to say. So not even this weekend. I think it's the next weekend. Don't stay in or out. If I, uh, I'm at home, I wear PJ bottom shirts or oh, an Udi. I think my Udi link still works if anybody wants money off. Anybody wants money off an Udi? Uh, exclamation mark Udi in the chat, I think works. I don't get any money for it. Uh, I I got I I got what I was uh, what I was due. Uh, I got a free Udi for promoting uh, Udi for a stream. Um, but I have a feeling my my link still works next Sunday. So yeah, if you want an Udi, go and check that out. I love mine. And maybe if only see a load of people using my link, they might do another thing with me. Or just like a sailor suit, cute, put them with Crocs. Jeans instead of the beach. Yours was a present about three years ago. No, my, we, we, so we all have hoodies. My son almost lives in his hoodie. Uh, he yeah it's uh by the time by the time i can actually pry it from his hands in order to wash it it's pretty much standing up on its own How much more on this contract? We're up to 70%. But it can't be warm though, so I understand where he's coming from. Oh yeah, me too. Mine's actually hanging on my door behind me. Yeah, if we look when we're looking to save some money on the oil, we'll, we'll turn around and we'll all shove our hoodie uh, our hoodies on. That was holding nearly a thousand liters in that harvester which is kind of on the environmental score uh subsoiling or plowing uh both are just as bad i really would like to see a difference between all the various things that you do on uh with the soil PDA for this map. The plot I was thinking of is the northwest corner of the map. Small grey square with darker spots. Northwest. Small grey area with uh 25. That's 29,000. That does look like it's an area that would have a load of uh, bits in. You have a Honda hoodie somewhere, wow. Never got the environmental score thing. So, the idea is that how you treat the land gives you a better environmental score. 
so you can see here the nitrogen level, the pH level, the weed control, the soil sampling, and the tillage. Those affect your uh, your environmental scores. That's it. Uh, was the wrong price, but pretty sure it has six greenhouses. Well, that, that would be a good place for us to start then, six greenhouses. Currently wearing my hoodie I got from Kickboxing Glass. Nice. Do I have to peck the soil? Um, no, no. So, uh, soil tillage is all about whether you plough it or not, basically. It's all about soil quality. Which is something that I, I want to see change in the next version of Barmson. I think that there's... Don't plow, I use a tiller. If it's classed as a plow, plow in game, it will... Um... Uh, it will have a negative effect on the environment score. Uh, a cultivator or, or something similar to that oop, uh, will um, uh, will have no effect and direct seeding uh, will have a positive effect. I had to invest in the equipment, it seems. we've gone i know we've got about yeah we've got about halfway around the field and i haven't half filled our trailers i was like yay you can both try to... well my red beet field is going to corn next spring so needs to kill it yeah and that, and that's the thing uh the amount you lose from the environmental score uh is offset by the extra you make from plowing um going from a root crop to a standard field and if you are if you are doing uh corn next spring try and get a direct seeder for the corn that's the that i find is the best way to go if you are uh if you are doing something that's going to require plowing plow then direct seed over the plow and it and it wipes out the negativity hey Azriel, how you doing hope you've had a good day my friend So yeah, you can still use the tiller. Pretty good, has you found new pumps going well. Uh, we are currently doing a massive uh past it harvest. 
Wait a minute for them to line up. They're like crocs when you don't have them, the outfit simply is incomplete. Not sure what I've gotten this weekend. I'll definitely have to get at some point. We got a task list for this year or uh, do contracts bring money in? Basically is uh, is what we're doing at the moment. Uh, yeah, and then uh, and then we'll buy fields uh, once we've got money to do that. I think we're going to start by trying to get some greenhouses up and running. Uh, there's a section of the map that has a whole load of greenhouses on it, so we might buy that and, uh, and start getting those producing some stuff. Greenhouses and bees, yeah. Oh, front trailer is full. I'm not paying attention. Make a greenhouse in my attic, but Papa won't allow me. Probably for the best, that one. downhill after that oh dear as We can't, uh, one of the reasons to not leave any contracts uh, unfinished on here or completed and, and not done uh, is because the server is going to reset, is set to reset once per day uh, between 2 a.m. and 5 a.m. when nobody's on here. Also, I might change the synchronized time because if people are not on here, I truly have a weakness for tillers. Not field you want to aim for after the greenhouses or not that far away. Which field adds? We, we do need to get a farmyard at some point, but I, I think our farmyard might end up being the top uh, west of the map. First, 
Because, yeah, we're, we're aiming for... Oh, no, wrong. We're aiming for 25 at the moment, which is 29,000. Uh, I don't know if there's a farmyard up here. There might be a farmyard there or there. Or possibly there. That's 288,000. So we've got to work it out. One of them will be a uh, will be a right choice. Let's go and try over here. It has such a rusty tiller and it's like really bad and keep telling people it's beautiful. Just because something's a little bit rusty doesn't mean it's not beautiful. Old, old and rusty. Ah. Oh. subscribing for your third month you are awesome sort of a contract yard bunch of sheds and silo across from the trailer around 80k ah uh, 90k okay This is multiplayer. This is multiplayer produce. Yes. We keep getting invited for shows in my prefecture. Everyone recognizes me like that. Nice. Last I played this map before the last update. Rising at in position. So. Uh, where is that? That's the shop there. Home. Where's the home? Uh. Ah, right there. Oh, there. That one, 28, which is 97,000. We'll I'll have to go and check all these places out. Martin underscore Shriver wants you to try to speak with a different accent for 30 seconds. I'll see what I can do, but I don't know how effective my, uh, my alternate accents are. A little bit all over the place. But you never know. I might be able to, to pull something out the bag and talk in a slightly different accent, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. And it, as I said, a little, little bit all over the place. Uh, but uh, we'll see how we go. Hey, Braden B, welcome along. I have no idea what that accent was. No idea what that accent was. Exclamation mark, join in, Brayden. 
Loves this stream. Fantastic. Bro. Join. Join in. Exclamation mark. Join in. All one word. Exclamation mark the scored. <laughs> Whoa, Martin has bought five more chests. What horrors await. Than tipping. Martin <laughs> underscore Shriver wants you or your intelligent assistant to tell a joke. My intelligent assistant. Uh, my intelligent assistant isn't on here with me tonight. Um, what'd you get? If you cross a sheep and a kangaroo, a woolly jumper. That joke was old in the 80s. Wants to greet everybody in the chat. Hello, Martin. Oh. Yeah, I want to hear a joke. Uh, Kelchi is uh, on the other contract. This end here, turn those off. Oh, no, faster, faster. What do you get when you fall asleep with an itchy butt? I don't know. What do you get when you fall asleep with an itchy butt? Many finger. Oh. Oh, 
Martin's purchased five more chests. Punch it down one. Two percent done on this contract now. Oh, I think we have a completed contract. Yep, yeah, there we go. Uh, Martin I, I, underscore Shriver thinks it's time uh, for you to stand up and stretch a little bit. He's uh, uh. a little bit. Uh, what was the that uh, supper, Martin? Um, for supper this evening, we had, oh, Gavin Steaks. Uh, with pineapple and um, uh, Dapunyar's potatoes. Really quite nice. Can't have it out. It's awesome. Crocs! The choice between that and lasagna tonight. It, it was really tasty, actually. Cajun chicken stir fry with rice. Oh, nice. Last two nights we, we had shepherd's pie. I did uh, shepherd's pie from scratch. And uh, we had left we had leftovers yesterday. And um, yeah, I don't know why, but reheated shepherd's pie and cottage pie always tastes nicer. Martin underscore Shriver asks, you just met a time traveler who came from the future. What's the first question you ask? Mm. Depend, kind of depends on how far in the future. If they're from next week, I want to know the lottery numbers. Uh, if they're from the 24th century, I want to know if Star Trek is a thing. It's, it's one of those questions, you know, what would you ask a time traveler? What is the first question you would ask? There's all sorts of stuff that, you know, and I, 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 one of the things is, if it's, if you're asking them and they're from, and they're from far enough in the future, then whatever they say, yeah, so if they're from the year 3000, if you ask them about anything from uh, the next 20 years, uh, anything from the next uh, 40, 50 years beyond uh, beyond that, then it's meaningless. Welcome, 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 Raiders. Twin Cam Gaming, my fellow Red R D Rough Rider, coming in with a raid. Said that stays straight. Thank you for resubscribing, Twin Cam. You are awesome. They live under oh, chief. Oh, well, thank you, Twin Cam. Yeah, we're having a good evening this evening, just hootling along. Uh, guys, if you haven't checked out my uh, fellow Red Dirt Rough Rider, Mr. Twin Cam Gaming, you should go do it. Because he's awesome. I've met him in person now. It's great. My pleasure. Martin underscore Shriver asks, what movie has made you cry? There's a few movies that have made me cry um, almost without fail. 
I cry at um with with joy because just seeing it on screen i never thought i'd see it um but uh avengers endgame that moment where all of the portals open and all of the heroes come through and everything and 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 captain america says avengers assemble that moment that gets me every time uh, and the the film that got me before that was actually the first Avengers film. That moment where they the camera circles around them all in the middle of, uh, all in the middle of New York. That just that got me every time uh, to begin with. And I'm just I'm such a massive comic book fan and such a massive comic book nerd that that just oh that trailer's full. I didn't realize that trailer's full. I think we might have lost some there. That took me way too long to realize that. I'm not a not great one for weepy movies. You know, it's, it's, I get emotional at stuff, but I'm never I've never been one for a, a particularly weepy movie. Martin underscore Shriver says hands up for ten seconds. I've got no control. Oh, thank God for that. For me, it's two brothers makes both me and my mum cry within minutes of starting to watch it. There are there are things like uh, Toy Story. I got incredibly emotional. I think it's the end of Toy Story three, where um, uh, they hand the toys over. Uh, where um, yeah, I'm I'm fairly sure. I'm fairly sure. Back in 1985. Uh, I cried when Optimus Prime died. I wouldn't be surprised if that happened. I don't remember. Um, but uh, that wouldn't surprise me. That is incredibly sad moments in that film. It's Titanic. Oh, it's a long film. Pianos, uh, the pianos I've not seen. That's full. Films is where I show my girly side. Ah. I 
Right at the end of Thunder Road when the guy finally rides the motorbike again. Marley and me. Oh, God, dogs. Turner, is it Tur Turner and Hooch where the dog dies at the end? And it's, it's all sorts of movies like that. Oh, God, yeah. World War II, but well worth watching. We said this yet. I tend to watch factual stuff about World War II. I've not been a great war movie person. Oh, God, I'll tell you one film that didn't make me cry and is probably one of the worst films I've ever watched, but as it, but is Oscar nominated. I don't think it won. And that is the thin red line. Oh, my Lord, that movie is bad. And I don't understand why it got nominated for stuff. I, it's, it's the only movie I've ever walked into the cinema and within five minutes of, of the beginning of the film wanted to fall asleep. Okay, keep going, Tim. Crazy, yeah, Thunder Road. The guy says, bring me the bike, and he sits on the boy, says the bike is not good, the brakes don't work, and the guy smiles, drives, drives off the song. We have no wings to play. Ah. My accent sounded like Stewie Griffin when he was wasted on beer. <laughs> Can't be in cool, very silly movie series. Oh, yeah. Fantastic movie series, Pirates Caribbean. Boop. Oh, the final episode of Black Hunter goes forth. Oh, my Lord. Yeah, that, there's not a dry eye in the house. It is just... That is just half-wrenching. Have I seen the D&D &D movie? I've seen the D&D &D movie about four times at this point. It is fantastic. And I really hope they make more because it does they deserve to make more if they're gonna do DD that well as a movie. Yeah, please more DD movies. That was just brilliantly done. There's, there's one action, there's one other movie that is absolutely awesome. Didn't do well at all at the box office, but so wish they'd made a sequel to it, and it'll never happen now. 
Red. Red is a fantastic movie. Carl Urban is pitch perfect as as uh, as Judge Dredd, and I just wish they'd be able to make more. And it just, yeah, it's just, it came across just at the wrong time. Because had it been uh, and just a few years later with Deadpool and Logan and all of those coming out, uh, our rated comic book movie would have done so well. And yeah, it was ahead of its time, Dread. You see what the funny shot on his page? It's a toy John Deere 5020. I'll have to have a look. We're going to be full any moment. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Uh, Warcraft movie's okay. I'm not in such a huge fan of World of Warcraft, so it didn't hit as as well for me. It's it's an all right movie, uh, the World of Warcraft movie, for me. I we do a 40k Warhammer. See, 40k Warhammer is is a tough one to do, I think. Certainly a tough one to do without making our end. Wing Commander, yes, please. Wing Commander was it was an awesome computer game series and an awesome movie two guys drive it and people's atv and drive over a pile of rice straw while a man and a lady do their stuff in the pile uh, <laughs> i mean we own the warhammer move uh the um uh, the warcraft movie and it's not a bad movie at all. Probably better TV series though with the depth. Yeah. Look at mousing over. Stingray or Thunderbirds? Ooh. Probably Stingray, to be honest. Thunderbirds is cool and all, but I Stingray just has such a catchy tune. Stingray, Stingray, la da da, Stingray, Stingray, la da da. Thunderbirds had a massive resurgence. I, I'm old enough to remember when um, the uh, the Tracy Island sold out for, you know, in the 90s, I think it was. And Blue Peter did the how to make your own Tracy Island. And it just went ballistic. There's a Thundercats movie coming, uh, Axiom. You know, there's, a, there's a Thundercats movie on the way. Give me a moment.
Thunder cats back to me. Thunder uh, shoes hybrid CGI and live action bit story was like giving pure. That would be that would be amazing if they did the Thunder Cats movie like cats. <laughs> Oh God! Can you imagine? Oh, I'm constantly trying to recapture my childhood. James Corden and stuff. Uh, Tom and Jerry's cool before they butchered the good bits out of it like they do now. Oh, Tom and Jerry's so violent. Not as violent as Itchy and Scratchy. Oh, absolutely. There's a reason why I have a wall of Transformers behind me. My um, my superposable Optimus Prime is on the way. I'm half tempted to uh, to uh, unbox that on stream or something along those lines because that is just awesome. And the, the backup one I get I, is still sealed, and I'm probably going to, I think, sell that off. I didn't know if the, the full version was going to arrive, but that should arrive on Monday now. Oh, Red and Stimpy was insane. 90s kids had it weird uh, except they also had the x-men uh original x-men cartoon oh god i i am at the moment i am trying to sort out selling all of my 90s comics and i watched x-men 97 yesterday and suddenly i wanted to read all of my 90s X-Men comics. What I'd really like to do is get a... Uh, uh, is get all the graphic novels. If you guys had in the 90s anime, we did. I wasn't very into it. Um, but yeah, things like uh, Kira and things like that, we had all of that over here. Ana anime and manga sort of really took off over here at that point. Oh, I absolutely watched Beavis and Butthead. I saw the Beavis and Butthead movie at the cinema. Any root crops are this simple and sack thought. Wait, 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 slow down.
Oh, and MT. Uh, I am old enough to remember when MTV played music videos. When MTV played music. There's a new Shrek movie. Another. I mean, I remember. Um, oh, what was it called? The request show in the afternoon. Yeah, I used to watch MTV Music all the time. I actually, I, I, I do still watch some music on MTV, but it tends to be MTV's 80s and 90s channels. But then I listen to Greatest Hits Radio and, you know, I'm definitely listening to a lot of 70s, 80s and 90s music at the moment. Is it squared off? Oh, it's not quite. Yeah, I think that's the way to go, Tim, definitely. Video killed the radio star. Fantastic. Oh, Tomorrow's World. What a fantastic show. BBC Click doesn't come anywhere near to the awesomeness that was Tomorrow's World. Let's uh, let's just clear out this bit. I mean, yeah, let's clear out this top part of the field. I was going to say let's just clear out this second in here. Someone round by me has a C5, and I see them riding it along the road every so often. It's an insane piece of kit, the C5. This buggy is a perennial death traps. Ninety-five percent of the way there. Going to see Ghostbusters tonight. That's in the USA. That's why. No. Well, I won't be streaming again before um uh, before I get to see it. So. Team fan. Oh god, it's eight. It's ten past eleven. Yeah, big contract we're taking on, but we we are gonna crack this out tonight. Have you seen the movie Jack? Uh... Does, uh, does that have Jack Black in it? I mean, there's there's like three different uh, ones by those guys, isn't there? Oops. 
slow down. Catch up a little bit. I mean, I really like Jack Black stuff. Four, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the BFN. There's not a lot of field left here to harvest. I am slightly concerned by this. And over 97%. Okay, we should be all right. I was going to say, might as well clear this bit out. Leave that to uh, them down there. They they can clear that out, and we'll uh, we'll clear this out. That way, we're also not getting in each other's way either. People say, didn't get enough crop to finish some contracts on this map, even after the update. I have had that issue with... Uh... Oh. Had that issue on Stone Valley with the cutouts in some of these fields, so we'll, we'll have to see what happens. Well, I mean, we're 97% of the way there with this field, so... I think we might be okay. Hi, William. Welcome along. He says, well, we'll see what happens. I'm hopeful, I'll put it that way. Welcome back, Steam fan. Yeah, no, it's it's that wouldn't surprise me, Black Mirror. Because I think it also depends on how the field calculates. So uh, it might be fine for this crop, but might be a problem for a different one. When do the wood chip silage start? Not yet. Oh. We 
don't own any land yet. Where is cheapest farmland on the map? I'm not sure. Uh, but we're going for something that's about 30,000. We should be able to get it. Uh, and then uh, we're going to be looking to start... Um, doing... Uh, well, we've got to, we can, we're going to go for a piece of land that's got a load of um, greenhouses on it. Which should give us a good way to generate money straight off the bat. We then just need uh, probably a telehandler and a flat. Oh, and a water trailer as well, I think. That would be quite cool. Uh, if not, it doesn't matter, culture. We can always put some on for not a lot of money. We'll, we'll have a look anyway. The cheap bit cheesy, we could get rid of greenhouses or to get the water tanker. Well, if they're not there, then we won't be able to actually do anything with them. So uh, it's going to be a case of seeing what's actually about on the map. Because they may not be there. Because this is a start from scratch setup. Not much left. A new farmer, probably no building on the uh, possibly not, although one of the farms did have some stuff, so, yeah, I don't know. got plenty of time so we'll probably look to to do that in october who did this map lance boy woo
to 93%. I don't know if we'll get a full trailer from this end of the field, actually. 94, 95. Here we go. Either way, I'll be a good start, I think. Any news on Moth Valley? I believe it got submitted and failed. Someone was saying the other night. Uh, it is the next map I want to do, so... Lottery Farm? Oh, that's not a bad shout, actually. Yeah, won the lottery. I'm buying a farm. We only need about another thousand litres. Straight to a T7. Pretty much. Oh, I need to spin these all round. Nearly there. The eight ninety nine. Oh, we're not quite a little bit more. Go up, baby. Go uh, ever take my fancy. I've not looked at that map actually. In fact. Got an idea. Harvest it, Tim. Harvest it. By the time that's emptying stuff. Is that going to be enough? No! Last little bit. But uh, I have not played Tuscany, no. I, the Hills of Tuscany, yeah, no, I've not played that map. like 40 liters there we are right i need to empty this a trailer at a time just to see if we can max things out and make a load of money because we don't want to empty any more than we have to into the sell point we want to return uh, we want to complete this contract. Uh, but not complete the... Uh, not give anything towards the Field 6 contract because we are going to cancel that contract.
See, there are some there is some farmland with stuff on it because that's a cow yard when you play the other two start modes they should just make billy um the other thing you can do black mirror is you can set the buildings to buy with the land and i much prefer it when that happens so you don't own the buildings and then you buy the land and it buys the buildings with the land who picked where are we get a collectible oh right so this trailer first don't pick up the collectibles tim picked up the second one although they're only worth 1000 which is how many collectibles are there how close are we to completing it's 98 percent okay it isn't gonna complete with this trailer then Drove into central Lincolnshire today. Barely anything has been drilled. Really strange seeing it like this at this time of year. I think the farmer was out drilling the uh, field behind my house today. We're 99% done. I think we can return in that case. Uh, I'm going to cancel... I cancelled the contract on field six. Oh, balls. That cancelled the wrong tractor and trailer. Balls. No, that was not meant to happen. Sorry, Jesse. Damn, I thought I thought that tractor and trailer was from this contract. Oh. No, he didn't sell. I thought, oh, I'll cancel it before he sells. We're short. can't be that much short though what do we got left on the field then let's uh, gather up whatever we got on this field and um see if it's enough There are patches on here. It might be enough. 
Okay, thank you, Tim. Uh, right, can anybody help me harvest up these last few bits? I'm really annoyed with myself. See how much we can scrounge off the field. If not, we'll have to take that other harvesting contract. close to completing this contract and it was only because I jumped the gun and thought oh I'll be smart oh yeah that is a reasonable patch that might be enough to do it Another patch up the top, yeah. Oh, cheers. Stay there, I will swing around and grab the patch the other side of you. Ah, that's the other reason I, I hate not having the um, contract mod. The better contract mod, because you can't see what equipment. with which contract oh yeah there's a whole row here What tractor you open to get on this map? Whatever tractor we can afford. We. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I am so annoyed at myself. Uh, a 
over here. Late Calci, thanks for joining us. Go forward, people. Really want to get on and involved for the first time. I'm um, basically jump on the server, grab a contract, uh, and um, go for it. How many leads? God, I hope this is enough to complete this contract. Right, go give that a go, Jesse. I I think if that's not enough, then uh, there's not going to be enough left on this field. Oh, hang on. Actually, there is one little bit. Before you leave the field, just this section down the bottom here. Because that's actually sizable. Okay, fingers crossed that that is enough to get this contract done. Stupid mistake. Ah. 
I don't think the other contract is even... I know that is parsnips in field 19. Well, 19 is there, it's not huge. So worst case, I can pick that up later. Welcome, 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 Raiders. Hope you had a good stream, Scuba. We're waiting to see if my mistake with the contract is is gonna go horribly wrong. Hey, Kate Peak, welcome along. I managed to return a trailer full of parsnips before we completed the contract. And we're hoping these last few are going to do it. Thank you for uh, thank you for subscribing, uh, following Gabe. Welcome to the BFN. Come on, complete the contract, please. Please be enough. Not enough. UK. Oh, right. Well, nothing I can do to that. <laughs> that was so stupid. What an idiot. Well, I will have to try and fix it tomorrow. There is a uh, there is a contract that we can take. Um, in fact, I'm just going to accept that contract. I'm not going to borrow the items for it. And then uh, tomorrow morning, I'll uh, I'll go do that contract and sort it out. Oh, that's annoying. That's so annoying. Oh well, that's where we're gonna finish it for today. Oh man, that's stupid. That's so stupid. Right, so uh, yeah, uh, I will. Uh, I'll. I'll just hop on with the harvester and stuff, and just have a little bit of a play later. Oh, but yeah. Oh man. I, I. I can vapor, but I don't want to because it was a mistake. I could take the server down, uh, add a few parsips into it, and and. and you know, but no, you make a mistake like that. You, I need to, uh, I need to fix it by actually doing the work. So uh, yeah, if anybody wants to jump onto the server and do that contract, be my guest with the stuff that's on there. Um, but uh, yeah, I will. Uh, if not, I will jump on there over the weekend and have a go myself um got a few things to say before we go tonight um thank you scuba c for your raid you are awesome uh swing cam raiding thank you for resubscribing and for your raid you are awesome uh that is very true action um uh mckenzie thank you for uh subscribing uh you are awesome uh matt Shriver, thank you for resubscribing you are awesome blood wolf nl thank you for resubscribing you are awesome uh crofty 2010 thank you for resubscribing you are awesome paul sinclair 71 thank you for resubscribing uh for resubscribing you are awesome and Landy the farmer 2022 thank you for res uh, sorry andy the farmer 
2022 thank you for subscribing you are awesome uh over on youtube uh thank you to uh farmer fox 303 for uh renewing your membership you are awesome uh we'll be back on sunday from 8 30 p.m for the realism experiment so come and join myself and reaver for that um and yes tomorrow's video on youtube i will be dealing with some very annoying carrot boxes so uh come and uh share my frustration with me as i try and sell those uh we are gonna see if there's anybody to raid on twitch tonight it's been slim pickings for farm sim recently Oh, but a good friend of mine is actually streaming tonight. So we're going to go and raid him because we're on our actually on pretty late. Uh, so we're going to go and raid XR Renegade, who I haven't raided in ages tonight. Uh, so go say hi to him for me. Um, I'm probably going to run fairly quickly because it is late here. And uh, yeah um all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching i hope you have enjoyed this live stream uh, if you're on youtube give it a like drop us a comment and give it a share and uh, a huge thank you as always to all my supporters uh to my patrons to my uh youtube channel members and to my twitch subscribers you guys are awesome and uh yeah you are you are absolutely awesome thank you so so much for your support um if you are not yet following us on twitch or subscribed on youtube uh please do so so that you never miss a live stream or a video from me and uh yes if you've done so then i will see you next time goodbye <laughs>